News doctors say our vaccines provide effective protection against current variants and more than 70% of Colorado adults have received at least one dose of the vaccine. And now some of the focus is shifting to animals and whether they need to be vaccinated. Denver 7 Sloan Dickey takes a look at how Colorado zoos are preparing and what you should know about your pet's care. For our animals, we want to be able to protect them similar to uh, we're trying to protect people. Now that many of us homo sapiens here in North America are vaccinated from COVID-19, zoologists at the Denver Zoo think it's time to help out our friends in other species. It's very important um, to us to provide protection for our animals. That protection in the form of a COVID vaccine specifically designed for animals. The Denver Zoo plans to start vaccinating its own animals starting as early as next week. 70% of our audience has received the vaccine so they can see it in uh, hopefully see it in an animal. The vaccine comes from a company called Zoetis, which sent its first batch of COVID vaccines to the Oakland Zoo in June. The company plans to donate 11,000 doses to 70 zoos across the United States. But not every animal is in need of a shot. Experts say it's only certain mammals that seem particularly at risk to COVID-19. We haven't settled on the final list yet, but our primates and carnivores will be at the top of the list. And because we've had those cases within the, the community in tigers, gorillas, those will be at the top of the list. Though there haven't been widespread outbreaks in zoos, some mammals have contracted the disease. Gorillas and tigers have tested positive in American zoos. And overseas, many animals were put down after an outbreak at a Danish mink farm. Though the Denver Zoo has allowed visitors back, they are still being cautious as well. We still have... Uh, measures in place for masks and uh, and other hygiene measures, not only for our staff, for, but for any of the public that might be around or interacting with animals in our collections. But what about the animals in our own homes? There are 85 million dogs in the United States and 90 million cats. And, and so I think this is a good sentinel group to watch. Veterinarians say vaccines for pets are not a concern right now. If we were going to see problems, I, I, it, we're in such close contact with people that I think we'd be seeing it. But as coronavirus mutates, it's important to use caution. I think we have to be very vigilant. Sloan Dickey, Denver 7.